when he always say that corruption is a vile disease. I definitely concluded that indeed corruption is not only a vile disease, but corruption is the mother, the father of all has get birth to. We ask ourselves now, when a sitting president is calling an opposition leader, why that opposition leader did not do only thing but duties based upon him or her to hold a sitting government accountable for transparent and accountable running of his government? While we expect an answer from the president, that sitting president, the public did not hear anything. I have to kill Usain Odabo. I have to see Usain Odabo being killed. I have to observe the burial of Usain Odabo to confirm his death before I relinquish power. Is this not a threat to national security? If not, I ask my question. What is a threat to national security than this? Fellow Gambians, residents of Gambia, this question is addressed to all of you to give Gambian people, that is including yourself, the answer towards 2026. I went through, I went through to the audio, which is almost 30 minutes or more. I listened to it keenly, if not more than 10 times. But I did not hear a single message a sitting president have addressed, that is to a national interest, or one could say is a national interest agenda the president has delivered. And I will remind you, political gatherings are an opportunity accorded to politicians to emphasize or to repeat, or if not, to give citizens the new ideas and policies, programs they have for Gambian people, if they are in government or if they are already serving as leaders in the helm of affairs. Speakers has alluded to so many challenges the country is facing. That include recently, the capsize of a boat that has already consumed more than 150 people. How many families are affected in that? Almost an entire family was ferries in the waters of Mauritania. Where are they from? From where the president came from, that is URR, Upper River region. Why did those family perish? Why did they choose to perish in the waters than to remain comfortable in their house, alive? Just to enjoy whatsoever thing one could enjoy when you are alive. The answer is, if you have seen somebody running away from his house, throwing himself or herself in the waters, you should know there's nothing chasing him but fire, outbreak. That means that the Gambia currently, nothing is killing our youth. But the hardship can be interpreted as a fire outbreak that is trying to throw every Gambian in the Mediterranean Sea, which has been now a graveyard to our youth. If President Barrow can talk for almost 30 minutes without even showing solidarity, sympathy to those desperate youth who choose to die in the waters than to live in the Gambia under his leadership, this is concerning as a youth leader. This is a nightmare as a politician. This is unfortunate as a citizen. That is why we are not just doing this press conference merely for talking, but we are giving President Barrow messages. When I heard these remarks, the first thing I do, I have to send a message to HE, His Excellency, ANM Usain Udabo, not to utter a single word in response to President Barrow's irresponsible and whatsoever brain drain he has, not for him to respond to these kind of messages. But I also assure myself, without putting him to him, that we will take responsibility of whatsoever will happen, but this country must be liberated. This country must get its independent. Not independent because of just politics, but independent economically. We don't want to see anymore the use of this country taking 
the irregular migration way, that is the famous bad way, to die in the waters. Because of why the government cannot create any meaningful employment to those youths. We will not sit anymore here. And we will stand and demand, as the speakers alluded to, the debt contract that President Barrow has said he signed to see the death of Usain Dabo and to confirm while gracing his burial that Usain Dabo has died for him to be able to reign his power. We will want to see that death contract. And it is not merely we want to see it, but we will fight to see that death contract. Because why? He spoke with certainty. He spoke with confidence. He spoke with a belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to kill Usain Dabo before him. And I tell him he is lying. He has no contract with Allah. He did not see any contract. He has never seen Allah's wisdom. He has never seen Allah's message directly. The answer is, President Barrow has a contract to assassinate a citizen. A citizen that is always standing to hold a government accountable before President Barrow's born and then birth in this country. 1996 was the year the United Democratic Party was formed. We all knew. For a head of state to stand in front of the public and lie to us, saying that whatever he did, what he did in this party, nobody has done it. Was he the founder of this party? I said, no, it's a lie. He did not found the United Democratic Party. UDP was found by decent Gambians. UDP was found by intellectuals, patriots, who love their country. They came together in an environment while President Barrow, if you told him to come out that day, he is going to not only to faint, but he could even die. Because we saw the day of Senda was arrested, President Barrow see himself under a table. If that man could tell me that he did something for this party which nobody could did, I have no answer. I have no other response but to call him a liar. I have no other, I have no other respect that I can give to a head of state. Who is that and entrusted to uphold the principle of democracy, to guide a constitution, a constitution that said that right to life is a fundamental human right. For you to come out and publicly order the killing of an opponent, I can call you that an unfortunate liar this country has ever get passed. And my message to the IGP, I met them just last two weeks. We have a discussion. They were talking about immoralities. They were talking about uncultural utterances in our political discourse. The answer I gave him, you have a daunting tax. Because you have a president whom you must dance to his tunes, who cannot control himself when delivering public speeches. If you want to control moralities in this country, if you want to discipline people in this country, you have to get prepared because the first person to discipline, uh, to discipline or to guide, or to term is President Anwar But he vindicated me, thank God. He went to Brikam. He did not deliver anything to national interest. Look at the insecurity internally that we face as a country. If you talk about ordinary citizens, people could say that you can, police will tell you that we cannot protect them because they are killed at their homes. They are killed at their financial bureaus. They are killed on the streets where the police are not. But I'm referencing three innocent, hardworking, patriotic political officers were killed by an armed gun officer who no one knows of to date who the killer is. I repeat, who no one knows of to date who the killer is. So if you talk about internal, internal security, and prior to that killing, President Barrow stood in an opening of a police station built by German government. He said, the security is, is con of this country is today guaranteed than anybody, any day else. He in fact said that it is the critics that are over-exaggerating these issues. But his government have done enough to secure each and every Gambian. The next week, he was told that, Mr. President, you got mistake. This country is insecure. In fact, we are telling you you're going to kill your police officers. And they killed them. How are those families going through today? What's supposed to be done as far as our government is concerned? These are the questions we should have asked ourselves. But if President Barrow or Mr. Adama Barrow could only stand and sign a death contract to kill Mr. Usain Dabo before he relinquished power, I am calling on IEC. I am calling on IEC. Because when people 
tend to interpret things, they don't go critically. I go critically. I know why Adam Baro is saying that. I know why he stood and promised and took out that he will never get or step down as the president. Because he said, he did not say that I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'll continue to contest. He said, I will not relinquish power. What is the contract signed with IEC? We want to know. What is the self-perpetuating contract signed with the IEC? We want to know. We already knew what transpired in 2021. But at the time, a lot of things have been said. And as our party leader first spoke before us, we couldn't do anything but to comply to his appeal. That is, he did not even want a chicken, I mean a chicken, to die because of Hussein Dabo's presidency. It was emotional. But a voter population of over 200,000 votes who voted for Hussein Dabo, they all comply with discipline, with respect to Hichi Hussein Dabo. I'm telling Hussein Dabo, move out from our politics. I have did this press conference, never consulted him. And I will do my things, I will never consult, consult him. I am elected duly by the use of this, this party. And they have trust, I have a social contract to deliver. They have to see a government that is responsible, they have to see a government that is going to protect their force, they have to see a government that is going to, a party that is going to defend what they have decided for. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. If I say I here, I mean we are ready as youths. Nobody will take the back seat. We will die, but we will see the votes of the United Democratic Party members being protected. The votes of Gambian people who does not believe in the Arambaras government will be protected. We will die for this country. If Soros and could die, why not myself and others? If Soros and could sacrifice his life, why not me? So we cannot continue to, to be lambasted in an environment that we believe we don't deserve because of a mayor president who doesn't have a, even have a clue about what he has to do. He talked about the plot that Hussein Dabo asked him to surrender because it was legally acquired. And I can tell you, Hussein Dabo came with facts because he quoted the constitution. Section 168 tells us that the president cannot directly or indirectly enrich himself on the detriment of the people. If he does, it has attracted nothing but an impeachment. That is why I've been the same world alluded to the National Assembly. If they are responsible enough and they believe in Section 75 of the Constitution, they will definitely pass an impeachable motion to impeach or to start the process of impeaching the President. Even though we, do, we don't have the numbers, but trust, records and integrity, ethics and principles matters. Apart from that, the majority at the Parliament decides. But what is on us? It is to do the needful. If a President can close his eyes, while declaring his assets in 2021, he said very clear, we saw in the documents, he has nine properties in his name. You got an electoral act, section 5. It tells you if anybody has more than one plot, the states cannot give you a plot to leave. But President Barrow did not only stop at nine plots. He said his bank account has more than 200 million, 200 million Gambian dollars. Yet still. The same president is wanting to steal, is wanting to butcher from the scar resources of this poor nation. Why could you ask yourself, why do I vote? Why do you vote? What should we expect? Is it this? The answer is no. This is the president who stood here not long ago. He increased taxes. Today, the bottle of water was 25 because of a so-called tax stamp has created nothing but a bottle of water to exit to 30 dollars or even 35. You call this a country? And that is why when Mayo says it's a failed state, don't think it's a political statement. It's already a failed state when Gambians don't want to stand and liberate their country from criminals like Aramabaro. This is a country where national audit reports prove to each and every life or soul in this country that the president's office, state house, has consumed more than 669 Gambian dollars. When Madi Chihuahua stood to hold him accountable, he said, Madi is an inciter of violence. Who is an inciter of violence? When I say corruption, it's a vile disease. Corruption is a threat to national security. This is where it is. National audit report submitted their report. The president only stated that that report is a mere opinion and it is biased. And in Susan, 
that has been sponsored by citizens. Taxpayers' money to give us a clue, a direction on how our resources is managed by the state. If a president could stand and call that institution, describe it as a mere opinion, biasness in it, where do you think you are going? Fellow youths, the fear of Usinu Dabu, it is not his age. The fear for Usinu Dabu, I can tell you, Barrow spoke to Marabus. Barrow spoke to Marabus. They told him that if you don't kill Usinu Dabu before 2026, he's going to end your government. And if he ends your government, he's going to prosecute you. You are going to my tomb. UDP la youth president Haji Suwane ay meme fo wala nyinde ko finally finally atako ko ni tata yaji be wala nyinde ko baro ne morol wala diamata boro ani morol wala diamata ala ka cha kum fa wala ta ko baro ne morol le diamata wala kay ni man UDP la Hussein Dabo Fadrom abela man se aban nanyi banko kan so ko nga fale wala nyama mol kan nyin la may nyame ka I interpret wala nyama ito la hakilo ya di la nyame ndrao. It's very unfortunate na coming president ngay lo kanyong masifal fo ayatara ati malong ati ning usinda bo jamale falo be fale jamaa nyala. Gola nante ka fo mole ko president baro nyan ta katar la itubi. Itubi ala yin kumakka wala. Islamo mansong ala yin o. Anyway ka fale al nalba di malong jila la wala be gam politics to ya la jawa. See you next time. Ciao. Good day, good day to all our wonderful followers. And I'll be the man and Jila. All the more than I can go in the can I catch all some money. I come on the hand. I can be in name president Baroni UDP la leader la class. All the way here. I'm going to the Hussein Dabo to him. The amo be carrying a color. Kabin Barolo Tako. Abajala UDP la leader Hussein Dabo. I find him Banco can now fata. Eta abade. I now block who what more have been a decide la fabi Jila man se ala fati Jila. So adi amul besi yarim banko kan hane kabi achi uchul be warling. So konom finali UDP fon ata press conference o organize lo. La press conference o konom. Ila modo di amta minkere ila youth president wata haji suwane. Ay kumol min fon bena bondla li yon lo. Meyo Ahmed Ben Sudan yol be di amta je la. Ani la women's wing la president o madam Senghor be di amta je. So anyway, jaling kadu wul kuna kwa kachal sambal yang rong, alnal badi malon jila la wul begam politik stoy ala yang rong. Kafu mole mil man subscribe ya kare video siya. Ye subscribe ya video siya ye like wa kafu ala fana ngana TikTok account wul sote jande gam politik slong. Nimi yon follow yon be follow back lan. So without wasting more time, alang atangal lang may haji swan. Ay min fo presidam baro la kwa ane morol le diamta. Morol yon min fo ay dapo la kwa takana wala lanke. Alang alang may.